Hello, Don and Lou. Welcome, welcome back to my to my to my house. Yeah. yeah. What? You, you left the door open. We just kind of crawled right in. You really? Was already in your walls. Oh my god, that's scary. Well, last time I had you here, uh, we talked about some beloved characters, some beloved, uh, beloved Nicktoon. Uh, we let like, no, it was Cartoon Network guys last time. I mean, this time yeah. we're talking about the Nicktoons, and you guys have not seen the list of characters I picked yet. No, so no. I'm gonna no. start sharing my screen right now, uh, and we'll and we'll real time. See, you'll get to see who I've chosen this time. I'll talk about my thought process. And again, if you if you have any opinions, we can just add some more when we're done. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's get it over with. Let me take a look. All right. Let's scroll up. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> okay. You know what's oh, funny? Boy. This doesn't hurt me as much as the um fucking Cartoon <laughs> Network one actually. Okay. Well. There were there more Cartoon Network. There characters? were. Uh, there were. <laughs> so so to explain my process here, I I like last time I only did characters I thought we would have opinions on, and then like narrowed down like characters from the show. So you know, mm -hmm. sorry if you like really really wanted us to talk about um Redwinners. None of us watched that show ever. Uh, All the eyes as told by Ginger Girls. Oh yeah, that's a good point. A lot of them, okay. Uh, I, I, you Come know, on. again, I didn't know we. Well, I knew what I, I went with. I knew what everyone watched. I didn't know if we had rocket power heads in the, the call. Ryan, I've talked about the squid multiple times. I think All we right. should add rocket power. We should add rocket power and ginger at the end. Those are the two big Why ones are missing. On this list? Yeah, Wait, and what? you cannot be serious, Ryan. We're gonna, we're gonna have some stuff to say. No, Ryan. This is the first time I'm gonna suggest this. Take them off the list. No, I think Angelica Pickles has something to say. Individually, we are weak, like a single twig. But as a bundle, we form a mighty faggot. Oh my god. <laughs> so I, I, I Ryan, also, I also, Ryan, <laughs> yes. Ryan, can we compromise? Yeah. Can you put the teenagers on there? No, I want baby Angelica's opinions. Are you opinions. kidding? Ryan, they're babies. <laughs> Yeah, but like they're cool babies. Have you seen Rugrats? Find this face, Don. <laughs> yeah, I'm, turning, I'm turning around on this. I'm coming back around. I think this is absolutely <laughs> disgusting. Have you seen but Rugrats? Yeah. The Rugrats movie. Tommy's like awesome. He can have an opinion on this. Like he like okay. he's got diving okay. power. Look at the tears again. I kind of forgot what they were. Yeah. Okay. Where? Okay. Uh, I'm not seeing fake ally. Oh, add fake ally. Okay, right I'll now. add fake ally. Um, I, I also want to make a note about like the, the roster. Um, so I think one of the reasons it ended up smaller than Nick, the Cartoon Network one is uh, maybe it's a mean thing to say. Cartoon Network has a lot less slop cartoons. Wow. <laughs> like the Nick, I think Nick has had a lot of slop cartoons over the year. Put the fucking clown from Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah, I want to talk about it. There are other characters in that one show, Ryan. I want to talk about it. Okay, but you know, whatever. but you know what I mean. But like you, you like you thought like Cartoon Network shows. Like you, you wouldn't think of a lot of like flop. I can think of Nick too. And, like I can think of slop immediately. Like there's a few slop shows on here I put as a joke. Like um, no, no, mm -hmm. no. You better not be talking about robot. I'm monster. talking about fanboy and chum chum. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, seriously. But like, but like you know, like Pack in the Power of Juju, that kind of stuff. Like there's some Word, slop shows. Pack in the Power of Juju is not on the list. No, I refuse. Reasons, Don. <laughs> okay, but what about what about Yakety Yak? Don't talk back. Exactly. You know what, Don? Was... You Let just me tell made. You okay, here's my case. Come on. <laughs> Wild... What? You Wild just. Wild is not on this list. What? Anywhere. Ryan, yeah? you did not just just take out the slop. You took out like essential viewing. I didn't know you guys were wild Thornberry heads. Oh my god, it's like, not about you're that. You're of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we gotta more, we gotta more near the end. We gotta more near the end. All right, all right. We got it. We got to get right. Uh, yeah, and I think right off the bat, okay. we're already getting into some like heat. I'm gonna zoom in like just it's one. Not heat. SpongeBob characters. The SpongeBob do, do, character. Do we disagree? Is this is this heat? Because SpongeBob is gay. Yeah, I mean that's. And or bi. Know about that. Put SpongeBob yeah. LGBT like immediately. <laughs> and, he, and he knows this. He's, he knows it, and, he, and he's comfortable, and he's proud. Yeah. Exactly. Um, ally for Patrick. <laughs> you think so? Really? You don't think he's th playing in the space at all? No, I think he's straight. But I think he's like a very, I think he's a very nice ally though. Like he is very supportive. Mm -hmm. He's kind of like, you know, your uncle in a way, you know, he's mm -hmm. like, he doesn't always get it, but he's not going to say anything about it. Ever. I think it, yeah, that's no, 
You can no, bring, I agree with that. You okay. can bring, like, a rainbow-colored slime goo to his house. Like, oh, man, I love pride! Yeah, exactly. Now, here's where you guys are gonna, um... No, nope. maybe, maybe I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. What so do you have to say? Then. Go ahead. I think Squidward is neutral and uncaring. And I, you're right. I do disagree. Ah, uh, yeah. Squidward is such a fruity little hater. No. Yeah, I don't he's think he's so. a homophobic gay. <laughs> do we have the homophobic gay? <laughs> we we changed no, it to LGBT I mean, we character figure it out. It out. If we want to. That's right. No, no, no. That because no because we had internalized homophobic. He's not internalizing it. <laughs> Okay, so he's Lou, gay. Lou, you've seen that damn musical. You saw his gay little tap number. I choose to believe that that's not an indica uh, indicator of his sexual orientation. Ryan, I think she's erasing his sexuality. I think what? Yeah, are you? Lou is erasing LGBT identities by saying you know Squidward. Are you serious? <laughs> he's a theater but, gay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Add a tier, homophobic LGBT, and I'll agree with you. All right. Lou at the very okay. top. At the very top, okay. Yeah. Are we sure about this one? Yeah, <laughs> Is that where I'm, we want I'm, that? I'm dead sure. Homophobic. Gay, there we go. Okay. Now put right up there. Yeah, right, yeah, put it Mr. Right Krabs, it's like, um, no, 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 I, I gotta explain myself here. He, he's, he's gonna be a fake ally. He's like, oh, come get the rainbow, Krabby Patty, the crusty crab. You're right. You're right. He would, You're right. He would capitalize off pride. He would, like, make rainbow patties. Like, yes. Oh, look at that. It's the he estrogen. Wants the rainbow dollars. I get it. Go it's ahead. It's the Mr. Squidward. It's the fake estrogen ally. burger. You're talking about that on Twitter. This is Pete. Shut up. <laughs> All right, Sandy Cheeks, um, ally. You don't really, think you don't think she's she, she, she not lesbian coded or anything? Nothing. No, they I'm think? sorry, I don't claim her. You don't okay. claim no, her. That's fine. I, I don't no, claim I'm her. only. This episode, I'm gonna let Lou make some decisions. <laughs> Thank you. Well, here's the thing. She, it's either one or the other. She could be homophobic for the plot because she did come from Texas, and that's no. not Texas. Either. I was raised in Texas. I know how it be. But, but I actually I, think that she's a smart gal, yeah. and she's not really swayed easily by other I, opinions. I, I feel I like think she's an ally. I, yeah, but cause I also feel like a lot of Sandy episodes, at least early on, she's dealing with some form of bigotry. So I don't think she's That's like right. I don't think she's like a racist, homophobic Texan. I think she knows how it right. feels to be an outcast. Now, Blake. <laughs> oh my God! Can we? Okay, please. I'm allow bisexual. Me, allow me. He is married, yes, but he is also a swinger. So he's very oh open with the relationship. A um, swinger. Yes, and he, he and Karen, they, they match each other's freak. You know, like what the kids okay. Do. So I'm saying that he's LGBT, very bi, very bi. Okay. Um, very crushing on crabs. We all saw that, right? All right. Yes, Everybody of course. Everybody saw that episode, right? Okay. That's fine. I think you know Karen and him play in the space. They invite people in. Okay. You know. Yeah, dude. It's all open. Dude, real talk. Plankton and Mr. Krabs invented like toxic, unrequited love yaoi, basically. Oh yeah, absolutely. Plankton was definitely feeling it, and, and Mr. Krabs just couldn't couldn't match him. Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I say an apology, an apology yeah. to everybody yeah, yeah. Who, who watched that one episode where Timmy Turner like wished to be a girl and then right. had to ask some questions about themselves? I don't yeah. think it had much an effect on Timmy. Okay. I do not agree. Yeah, yeah. Why did I say that? Because I do agree with you. I do not agree that he should be existing. I don't like that. Really? Like that. Yeah, come on. On record that's that's that not that the debate we're, that's that's what we're talking alive. about. He's alive whether we like it or not. And I think not that anymore. People are like, oh, Timmy, he had that, you know, that one episode where he wished to be a girl. And guess what? He you didn't learn it. I didn't want to do that anymore. I think, he, I think he did it and was like, you know what? Not for me, but respect to women. Anyway, go ahead and put him um <laughs> Yeah, thank you. I, I, Not, he's... But, but the thing is, it, so are we counting when plots don't even work? Like, it didn't work. Well, I mean, he's not, like, he's he's more misogynist in that episode than he's homophobic or transphobic. I think that he, okay. has, he has a difficulty accepting gay people at first when he meets them. And then he he learns a lesson. Like Cosmo and Wanda, who are definitely allies, go ahead and put them in allies. Like right yeah, now. go ahead and do that. Please. Um, they're they're canonically allies in the new cartoon. So yes, for Good. Hazel, right? Yeah, uh, Hazel has a non-binary friend. And to my oh. knowledge, Cosmo and oh. Wanda have not been weird about it or anything. So I'm believing in them. 
Got to wonder. But uh, but Timmy Turner is like such he's like a there. character who like has to learn a lesson all the time, and he's like always in the wrong pretty much every time too. Mm -hmm. I fully believe like Cosmo Wanda. I don't get why AJ and Chester are dating now. We're in high school. I I don't. Boys are boys aren't supposed to date boys. Well, then, sport. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> and like the That's voice, a really good Wanda. The, the, Thank voice, you. Really good Wanda. the voice director is like, oh, Tara Strong, we didn't write that in the script. <laughs> uh, here's my Cosmo. Well, Timmy, <laughs> love is well, love. Well, Timmy, you sure are homophobic. Maybe we should put you in the homophobic closet. You I, know, they always make the, some s bullshit like that. I do like kind of like late, late show Cosmo when he like really lost. Like, well, Timmy. That's what I'm talking about, like that kind of yeah. very airy, like, wow, Timmy, yeah. Yeah. And all the, all the energy's like, gone. Like that. No, Cosmo talks like that in, like, any, yeah. anything Fairly Odd Parents related from the last, like, five years. That's what Cosmo sounds like, even in the newest show. He's he like, wow. Like I think it's even worse in the newer show, but I, I don't know. I still find them cute. So Love between whatever. two men is no different. What about Crocker? Put him right next Shut to up. Squidward. Yep, go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, yeah. dude, do you think they have a situation ship? Yeah, A hundred percent. A thousand percent. <laughs> now, why did you add him to this What the encounter? fuck is that? Hey, Luke, can I tell you something? Yeah. Hey, fucky Bob. What? Hey, fucky Bob. <laughs> The Bob guy that y'all was talking about? He's an LGBT character. He's Maybe a metaphor for being gay. I don't care. Just delete him from the list. No. Homophobic or delete him from the list. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> fuck, just fuck off. What do you mean, fuck off? You know what? He's homophobic. I think I think we're gonna have to put him in for the plot. Oh the no, not serious? even wrong. Not even wrong. That is like because, so. Oh my God. Okay. No, because Jimmy's whole thing in almost every episode is he uses way too much like quote like logic and science and sometimes oversteps like social boundaries right um, and like being like a polite it's in polite society i think he would absolutely be one of those like dickheads who like he read a few books and he's like uh -huh. oh, you know there's only two gen two genders and two sexes you know and yada yada and then like maybe he actually talks one-on-one -on -one with with a, a gay or trans a gender person and like it totally disproves his like theory and he has to kind of like learn that no. and get a brain blast where he <laughs> when, when no. it goes into his brain mm. it you know it shows like watch P. johnson like telling him to stop being an asshole <laughs> no, okay. go. I, I can picture Listen, stop because here's my point i feel like this is just so steeped in logic and reason for him that i don't feel like he learns anything but he does learn stuff. Well, here's he the thing. Jimmy the Jimmy could learn stuff if he's shamed by his friends. Because my, my plot, I have my ideas. Like, there'd be, like, a lesbian you girl coming to school. I have a plot for this. I know Jimmy didn't show up the back of my hand. Lesbian girl okay. comes to school, and, like, she's also smart like Jimmy. And she's, like, cool. Like, all Jimmy's friends like her. Like, ah, Jimmy, she likes llamas and Hunter Lord. <laughs> and then Jimmy gets, like, jealous. And, he, like, he becomes kind of homophobic because of that. Uh, and then, he, like, he says, okay. like, he's like, well, technically, Carl, the love between two woman will never work they cannot produce a baby and then cindy be like what the fuck nerd tron mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. and then like they have to work he and the lesbian girl have to work together like in the climax of the episode he goes like well i guess you're not so bad after all okay you, you might be right about this one <laughs> um yeah no that's a good you know what you you guys got me i agree now yeah, I think Jimmy would learn something. Go ahead and put Carl. In. No, 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 no. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. Don't do it. I haven't. I have a solution to your problem. I wasn't thinking anything. I was just laughing at yes, Carl you being were, here because you were laughing at him, and you know what I was gonna put him. Listen, I think he is either an ally or he's figuring it out. You know, I I could say figuring it out a little bit. Okay. Okay. I think all of Jimmy's friends have to be at least ally for the plot I wrote. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's no, that's no, nice of she could but... join him. She could join I, him. I think you need to put Cindy in, in neutral or uncaring. I don't know. Well, Cindy well, is uh, such a white liberal. I think she would pretend to care. So I think fake ally at least. Fake I ally could be it. Yeah, fake ally. That's exactly what I was thinking. Because <laughs> I, I can see her like, like she's not homophobic or transphobic, but I can't see her really sticking her neck out. 
too much okay for, yeah for somebody you know in that regard right. now libby libby is an lgbt character of Thank course okay i Thank believe you. you now we still have to work out this is why, okay hear me out this is why now homophobia right there oh is God. some it is also steeped in misogyny you remember that part where he was talking about how much he hated girls now that could be because he is a, a little boy but he's what like if eight. that goes on what if that keeps going God, he's like eight you you underestimate him. I don't think he's homophobic. You underestimate the Sheen? I don't think he's homophobic. Here's my thing. I think he's neutral and uncaring. I think he okay. outgrows the, that misogyny. I think he's going to get through this. You he's know, he reminds it. me of, of, of Ed from Ed and Eddie in that regard. Like, it's not no. that he doesn't... No, it's, it's he just, like, doesn't care. He's, like, oh, he's not too stupid to care. He just he cares about Ultra Lord and, like, eating cereal because he's, like, yeah. a year old. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's he's a newer divergent kid. He's just chilling, doing his own thing. He doesn't really yeah, care. I, yeah. I I love the spectrum going on with the Jimmy Neutron characters. None of them share a tear. They're <laughs> all it, spread. That, that means that their characters are very distinct. He's Phantom. He's a. So no, I was gonna say it. Anyway, good. I'll say it. <laughs> he's a bundle. <laughs> and cut that from the video and put him an LGBT character because I feel bad now. Oh my god. <laughs> well, no, he's figuring it out, I think. I think Danny. No, 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 hold on, wait a minute. Can you guys come with me? Like, yeah. come with me. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. where are we going? Okay, <laughs> you know how he turns into a ghost? Okay. Yeah. Is that a little transgender? Don, you are 10 years late to this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I think Danny Phantom is like a huge icon for like trans guys. Okay, like, then it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Oh, then he's already figured out. He's already figured yeah, out then. He's good. Sam. Can we call her fake ally? Yes. Thank you. Yes, we can. Kind of sad. Because she's, she, she, she's, oh, <laughs> she's kind of like, she, she, she's always talking about how she's like vegan or whatever. Right. I think she like says a lot of things like, like, she's all like, oh yeah, I'm really into activism and stuff. But like, she, mm -hmm. she's really very a selfish character a lot of the time. Okay. And kind of yeah. like mean also. I don't know. I don't care for her. Sorry, Danny. <laughs> no, okay, sorry, but let me stop. Stop. Yeah. As a fellow brother, I just want to talk about him real quick. I just feel like <laughs> he is, okay. He is not on the front line like Libby is. He is not on the front line like Libby is. He is very much, if he had a chance, he would do anything to be on Elon's side. Like he'd be oh, right there my. next to him. God. I do not think he is homophobic or transphobic, but I do not think he will learn a lesson. I think he is uncaring. Okay. He will kill anybody to get a crypto dollar. Right. Please understand that. What does this have to do with Tucker being gay or not? <laughs> well, it has to do with the fact he does not care about gay people. I hate this picture of him, sorry. It's a good picture, though. <laughs> it, really, it really tells you everything you need to know about him. Exactly. Okay, oh, please, oh, let, let's all calm down. Obviously, he's an ally. Yeah, I just, ally, you, ally. If our if hair only hated gay people, it'd be, like, uncomfortable. <laughs> like, I feel like he would, Helga. if you were crying hmm. about something, he would be right there for you. Helga, hateful. Hateful what? little lesbian. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I thought you were gonna put her down. No, you're right though. I'm um, homophobic. Oh, right. Okay. okay. <laughs> she's figuring it out. She's figuring it out. I don't no, think no, she's no, not. No, 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 I don't think she's gay. hold no. on. Like she she if anything, she's bisexual. I think she's not homophobic because I think Helga is someone who really stands for like the things she like believes in as she grows up. I think uh, as she gets older, like I think if like if she knew something was wrong, she'd do something about it kind of person. I, I can't you see her being so? homophobe. I think she's very, like, steadfast in her beliefs kind of person as she gets older. That's my viewpoint hmm. on her. Okay. What, Gerald? Okay. <sighs> Gerald. <laughs> he said that so, like, vloggy. <laughs> I, I have to... It's funny because... Is he not a brother? No, no <laughs> stop. No, no, it's funny. <laughs> Louis saying that it fucked me up, but anyway. <laughs> but, um, no, it's just, I want to say real quick, it's interesting that Nicktoons has a lot of, you know, more black people. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I have to fight a little harder. Gerald, man, I... Gerald's a good kid. Do you think he's an ally? 
He's, he's a, a good, good kid. kid. He's a good kid. He can be an ally. He's like the only one of the only kids in here. Yeah. They're best friends with Arnold. They'd be allies together. They're like they're, the they're, good the kid. That they contrast a lot. But I feel, yeah, I feel like they'd be on the same but side. Deep, but one. they contrast a lot, but deep down, like, they share, I feel like, the same, like, morals. Yeah. Like, they right. want the best for, like, people. Right. <laughs> you want to put him here? Oh, Susie. <laughs> Susie, I'm going to Pride to help with with the Pride Parade. I'm going to be selling rainbow pens. Susie. I don't have any Five dollars. I really don't put him in, in any tier. I five, don't care. Susie, five dollars for the rainbow pen. I'm going to help. Okay. <laughs> Susie. <laughs> Susie, I'm watching I'm watching gay shows on Netflix. I am an ally. Susie. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I... I <laughs> Okay, I know I said I didn't have the pick. I don't think you should put him there. I think Why fake ally you, makes more sense. Why did you go through all of that? <laughs> there. I think oh, fake ally makes sense. Mercy. Like I said, I'm studying rainbow oh, okay. pants at the pad parade. That's like up the baby. <laughs> I was dreading this part. I was excited for this part. The baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. <laughs> okay, when's the last? Okay, stop. When's the last time you guys actually watched the Rugrats? I watched, oh, no. uh, I watched okay. Rugrats Go Wild for like a minute in a side tube with Seep recently. So I'm the only one that actually watched the newer stuff. Yes. Like the CGI baby thing. I guess so. Oh, that's okay. right, you did watch that. I forgot. You did. I, I enjoyed it. And the fact that they made Betty like actually a lesbian was very interesting to me. But that's not the point. Tommy is a literal baby with no personality. I do not neutral understand why parents. they are on this list. <laughs> but but I'm neutral on I need to be right next Thank to the text. You. I need to be right so next easy. to it. Yeah. Oh, Chucky. Well, that's fine. Can you put him homophobic for the plot? Why <laughs> would you say that? <laughs> okay, so, so Chucky's like a little bit older than some of the babies, right? Like he's not uh, Tommy's he, age. Yeah, he's, he's like, like a year or two older than them. Yeah, he's like a little older than them, so he has a little bit more awareness, I think. Sure. So, That's not how it works for children, but go on. <laughs> so he's got, he, I feel like he has, starts to form actual opinions in this time. And I think that he, him being like a big scaredy cat makes him afraid of things he doesn't understand. I think Phil and Will's mom will bring home another like woman to like, like one of their meetups and be like, I, I met like there's two mommies. There's only supposed to be one mommy per family. Yeah, exactly. Oh, like, God. like he gets confused. You guys... He's not like hateful. He's just confused. No, yeah. you guys. <laughs> Yeah. Do you okay <laughs> you're you're missing the point because rugrats in paris he has this whole situation where he's like everybody else got a mommy and a daddy but i only got a daddy and that's why the woman comes in like and he's just like oh i gotta make sure that my daddy marries this woman that's the thing if you would use that i would have been like okay but that's him not understanding that families come in different shapes and sizes yeah, well that's, that's why it's for, the, that's plot. for the plot he's gonna yeah. learn he wouldn't be homophobic <laughs> <laughs> It's my point. I heard... he, just wouldn't he wouldn't know there are other options. I, I want to say. I think, I think the homophobia would be like not like I said not hateful. He's just more so confused and maybe a little frightened. Don, when you <laughs> said that, I, I heard Lou lose it in her room and it didn't pick up on the mic. Um, I like across the hall, like an actual screeching laugh. <laughs> um... We're what? Angelica. Oh, she's actually homophobic. <laughs> Oh my Easy. god. Easy. <laughs> Hateful little it. child. Did not care for her. I do not care how old I am. I could be 50 wow, still hate, hating on her. Y'all hate Angelica? Listen to me. It's nothing personal. It's about the way she treats Susie. That's my okay, issue. I have no other go. problem with nothing else she does. That's I don't even fair. care if she kills the babies. She's mean to Susie. I'm not a fan. Cat and dog? Yeah. They're two different people. They are. They're, they're different. Trust me. Okay, yeah. I remember this. Cat put him all the way to the top and then put dog below what? him. There what? We go. <laughs> what? I'm not going to argue. I think you're no, right. See, listen, they're gay, but Cat hates dog. So he's homophobic gay. Boom. When's the last time you watched the show? You're about to make two me really days mad. Ago. What are you doing watching Cat Dog two days ago? Why don't you mind your business? <laughs> all right. I think this will be a very fun set of characters okay, right Okay, I'll be honest, not my bag. Didn't have much to do with this one. I watched this religiously. Maybe yeah, it's my me turn. too. Yeah, I, go ahead. This was, this was my, like, autism thing for at least a few years as a child. 
That so explains a lot. Zim is definitely a fake ally. <laughs> wow. Wow. I like that. I think that makes sense. Like, he, that's like a plot in the yeah, show. Like he, he, he'd pull up some scheme. He, he, like, finds out about, like, pride parades or something. And he's mm -hmm. like, all these fools walk in a singular line. I could lead them right to their doom. <laughs> <laughs> With my pride merchandise. What exactly. if he thought that being an ally was something human, so he thought he would use it to, like, fit in? Is that That's true, does? too. That yeah, can work, too. You can do that, too. Yeah, you can, pre like, pretend... Oh! Okay, so Zim comes out as gay to his class, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then Jim is like, you, you guys, he's just saying that so that we don't realize he's an alien! And then everyone in the class is like, Dib, Jesus, calm down. He he just came out. Zim, I'm so sorry. We really support you. And then they all, like, glare at Dib. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Gays, I am doing the slaying. <laughs> yeah, serve hunt. Oh, my God. No, you would no, just watch no. a bunch of RuPaul Drag Race. Gur doesn't care. I don't think Gur gives a shit. Yeah, Gur doesn't care. I, I will believe that. Brain to, to, to Can I step in for my scenario about Dib, though? Okay. Okay, let me hear it. Dib, okay, hear me out. Dib is still figuring it out. Okay. However, when Zim comes out just randomly during class, he clocks him instantly. <laughs> but everyone thinks he's homophobic when, in fact, he's a gatekeeper. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> A gay? How so? Because he's like, oh, how is he gay? He doesn't even have a pride flag on his fucking backpack. And everyone's like, what the fuck are you talking about, Div? Fuck you. And like, it, everybody's getting mad, and then Zim leaves. That's what I'm thinking is happening in that episode. Okay. okay. What about um, Gaz? Oh, Lesbian. Boy, I don't know. Well, I don't. So Gaz is very is a very hateful child as well. I mean, I mean, you can be hateful in a lesbian. They, you know, let, let lesbians do whatever, you know? I don't know. Is she, um... Can you say Dyke on YouTube? I, I would not tell you the... I wouldn't Let's figure out. chance it. <laughs> <laughs> is that what yeah, she is? One. I think we're... This one's... This one's, this one's, one's all the way to the top. Yeah, all this one. Top, this one is literally <laughs> big. This one's just big. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one's just big yeah, yeah, yeah. for the show. It's just what's happening. <laughs> 100%. Good job, good job, good job. No, no thoughts, no questions. No, hey. there's, no, there's nothing to discuss here. It's just big to, to the show's DNA. <laughs> right. Don't worry about that. Oh, uh, okay. This is like gonna that. hurt a lot of shippers. You know them Avatar oh, wow. shippers? Yeah, you might crazy. get fucked on this you one. Might be, you gotta be careful here. Watch out. I have opinions though. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I will take the bullet. Aang's such a sweet child. You know, such a sweet yeah. child. Um, do, do we like ally for him? Yes, I love ally for him. That's kind of his that. thing. He loves everyone. Yeah, put him at the top of ally, actually. <laughs> yeah, put him in front <laughs> they're, of not, they're not really ranked, but sure, no, I'll put him at the top. I, it's just for me. <laughs> yeah, good kid, good kid. Katara, a fake ally. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> we can't do this to her. Well, I love, okay, can I can love the Katara. Katara. Pause on Katara. Sokka for the plot. Oh Sokka. no, that's 100%, yeah, one hundred percent. Okay, right. Katara, um, can we say Toph is a a homophobic gay? No, I don't think she's homophobic. But the issue with Toph is this: is to me as a child. I always read Toph as a lesbian because that's what uh, Toph was my favorite character, and I was figuring some things Fair out. Enough. And then in Legend of Korra, she goes and has herself uh, like a husband and children. I think oh. she just I don't know well, how involved with the husband. She I is, I but... believe she's very uninvolved. Then that she might have just been using his <laughs> unloving marriage LGBT character. I'll, I'll take that. Yep, yep, that's fine by me. Okay, please. Okay. All the all the fucking. Zutara people, don't oh kill me. Put that boy in figuring it out. Okay. I can't, okay. I my favorite ship with him was with his actual girlfriend that he did have. I like them, but he had his feelings with Sokka. Okay. I'm just saying he might be figuring shit out. Dude, that's an awesome episode concept. Like Sokka's homophobic, but Zuko's like kind of into him, and it's like oh, oh my god. Thing. And he's like, Zuko, like, just, like <laughs> staring out wistfully, like God, I need to stop going after these straight dudes. This is so disgusting. <laughs> we saw it right, Katara. 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 Okay. <gasps> Do you feel anything gay in her heart? 
Not really. Okay. No, I don't, and I, I feel I feel bad because I I do really like Katara. There's no no knock on her. Mm -hmm. I think I like I think allies yeah, the same. There you go. That's perfectly. Fine. All three of these characters are canonically allies. That is yeah, that's true. true. That's so true. But now no, I don't I like that, that turtle. You know what does that have to do with anything? Make him a fake ally right now. No, no! I'm not doing that. No, Rock no. going Africa can go up there. Yes, he's a fake ally. You Come can't on. do that to Please. Telford! Please remember. Oh, I'm Please nauseous. Remember. I'm nauseous. I love gay people. I'm nauseous. I'm an ally. I'm nauseous. Oh, Rocco, I'm an ally, Rocco. I love our friend Rachel, Rocco. I'm the only one that remembered he's a piece of shit. Like, seriously. He's not the best guy. They can still be an ally. Ugh, whatever. He's unfortunately canonically an ally, whether you like it or not. I'm okay. Don, I don't. I love the transgender community and you. You know what? Now I do like it. <laughs> That's all it took. Uh, very sweet young man. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm, not, I'm closing my eyes. I don't care. Okay. Okay. Can three? I? Be, can three. I? Sorry. Three. I should. I got, I'm okay, can eyes. I please? Can you please come with me in this space? Because I did watch this show. I don't want to. I did anywhere. watch the show. I do know what's ago. happening. I'm the middle one, the fat one. He oh he does not care. <laughs> chum he does chum. Not care. Yes. You don't want Chum Chum to be a wonderful ally. He is not an ally. He oh. just does not care. He's okay. not going to kill you over it, and he's not going to praise you for it. He's just not involved in the situation. Now, <laughs> let me tell you, this is the second clumping that becomes Spongebob and Squidward, these two. So, it, it pains me to say this, but the LGBTQ community will be taking in Fanboy. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I see where you're going. I see where you're going with this. this no, like no, 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 I didn't this. say that. He is homophobic. Whoa! You're... I did not- No. Put him down there. Are you breaking all the yaoi boys' hearts? Yeah, put him down You're... there. I actually agree. Fine, I'll compromise. No, I, no I'm no, i staking the claim. He's homophobic. Okay. Just over the plot. <laughs> Fanboy is unrequited homophobe love towards yeah. him. It's very toxic. <laughs> they know what they did. So okay, I... here we go. Well, Jenny's Jenny, transgender. Transgender, obviously. <laughs> Nora Wakeman is homophobic, transphobic for the show. So oh, but... homophobic and transphobic. That's no, come on. Ms. No, Jenny, she no, like... she learns. Is... No, no, she. Okay, this is okay. No, because does she ever call her Jenny? <laughs> really think about this. Then she might, like once or twice, maybe. I. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. We uh, might have to put her down because <laughs> we can't just oh. have Angelica down there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Says I'm clawing at the door. Let me in. Let me in. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Get me in there. Get me in there. You try to put her here so you can yes. bow and her. Okay. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. okay. Now, El Tigre. What's going on with that? Look at his face here. <laughs> He's like, ah, I'm a good he ally. He looks like a very nice young man. Ally, and then his blue hair pronouns, LGBT figuring out girlfriend. <laughs> figure it out. Yeah, 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 that's fine. <laughs> Why did you call Frida that? Blue hair pronouns. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> She's got it all. She's gonna be bisexual when she turns like 15. Yeah. Okay. Let her figure enough? it out. Oh, hey, Lou, oh, Lou, Lou you are. Monster. I put these here for you and nobody Lou. else. Uh, that's not true. Fun. I watch this show too. All right, all right. Yes, I am aware. Go ahead, but Lou, go ahead. Okay. Um. Hmm, no. Ooh. What did? Why didn't you put Gar on here? Ooh. Hmm? <laughs> why didn't you put the? Why didn't you put the um? Gar, the the brother character, robot's brother, Gar. I put a robot and monster. I, I, Lou, let's not push our luck here. Just answer, just answer her question. Oh, yo, Marf! Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot Marf from the show I watched. Robot and Monster! The only two fucking characters! What about his beautiful girlfriend? You didn't even put her here. Oko! Oko should definitely be up here. Robot and Monster doesn't need more than two reps in the Victor no, I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, you need to put Ogo on here. I'm not even kidding. How do you Ogo's spell- Ogo. how do you spell Ogo? It's O-G-O. Uh-huh. Robot and Monster. Need, 
Put Ogo on here. Why? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Robot and monster does not need more than three fucking characters on this list. We should have put the big beautiful woman in this. Okay, put Ogo at the at, um, um, LGBT character. Correct. Um, monster is an ally. Thank you very much. Okay. And, uh, Robot is LGBT, um, homophobic. Game. I mean, that's what correct. I mean. Correct. Correct. There you go. <laughs> this is more. This is more. They really only have one character in like Nicktoons baseball. Well, I'm sorry. I guess that makes Nicktoons baseball bad because it's just throwing up all right. characters. I need you all to. Oh, no, I, I, I need you all to bring me into my zone. I have something to say, and you're not. You're not going to be ready for anything I'm about to say. I am. Go ahead. All right. Snap the lesbian. And um, Rudy, Rudy Patootie yeah. drew Snap as a lesbian as like kind of a metaphorical thing for his own gender he's figuring out. Um, oh it's like a way, like it's kind of a coping mechanism. So what I'm saying here is, and you're not going to be ready for what I'm saying here, is what I'm saying here. Oh my wow. god, all three? <laughs> all <Wow>. three. <laughs> They're all lesbians. You know what? <laughs> Ryan, you know what? Snap had that same situation that Turk had from Tarzan for me. Uh, yeah. Where I'm just like, is that what kind of character? Is I, that a boy I, or a girl? I, I feel like, like oh. I'd, I'd be revealing too much about myself if I didn't say that Snap was one of my favorite kids as a, uh, characters as a kid and that um, mm -hmm. I drew him a lot and had opinions about him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, he's a lesbian. Wow, yeah. congratulations. <laughs> Thank, thank you, Snap. Oh, we, go, we really got a try for us right a, here. We don't have to try. Opinion. You know that, right? No, Otis I have is, no opinion about Otis. I don't care about okay, Otis. Okay, Otis is transgender. Otis is trans, though, but okay, go off. Please, 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 please. please. <laughs> Whoa! Ryan, I'm going to throttle you. You do not... I am the only one in this chat every time that has watched Doug on Disney and Nickelodeon. You put him in Ally right now. I'm sick of it. I'm oh done with the slander. Put think, him in Ally right do you, now. Do you think Doug Funny would say something if like Roger Klotz called someone the F slur in class? Do you think he'd stand up and say anything about it? Quail Man will fucking stand up. <laughs> Quail Man's a man who is fucking ally right Quail, now. Quail Man is a figment of Doug's wait, wait, imagination. Wait, wait, wait. Can you put Doug where he is and put Quail Man in the chart? <laughs> No, I'm so fucking mad at right now. I'm so fucking mad. <laughs> Doug has invented an ally in his head to make him I so. I cannot stand you. <laughs> Doug invented a character in his head who's an ally, so in his head he can feel like a good there person. There is no reason he should be homophobic or transphobic. There is no reason. <laughs> put him, if, if you had to put him there, put him for the plot. Put him for the plot. But Angelica needs a friend down here. No, she doesn't. Is Angelica the only one down there? You gotta put, like, oh no, Lincoln Lad has a gay sister. He's not Exactly, homophobic. gay sister. No, and no, no, hear me out. Has gay dad. No, no, you, no, no you gotta hear me out. No, 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 you gotta hear me out. Line, Lincoln Loud is a though. character defined by jealousy that he isn't the star that are getting attention at all given times. I think I think he wouldn't be. I okay. He learned his lesson. He learned his lesson, but he would be like like, oh Lincoln, uh, me and my me and my girlfriend. I'm voiced by Six the Badger from Sonic. Me and my oh. girlfriend are going to Pride. And you're like, oh, well, I want to go as a, a, a gay kid. Uh, Lincoln, you're you're not gay though. And then he's like get really sad and like no one's giving him attention because he's not gay. And then in this episode he pretend to be gay, there'd be a kid on his class having a crush on him, and then like he would have to reveal he's not actually gay, he has no feelings towards him, and then he'd learn a lesson about like that not needing to be the center of attention. Oh my god. Brian, okay. that sucked. And I'm glad well, you no. don't work for Nickelodeon. It's so fine. go ahead and put him in ally. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever. Two out of three, two out of three, okay. I win. Whatever. Alright, who do you want me to add? Uh, you guys have like 800 requests. Okay, can we add Ginger and Courtney, please? Yeah, okay, yeah. you feeling? Okay, listen to me. Okay. Miranda is a homophobic gay. Okay. Okay. She, but only to Ginger, but only to Ginger. But Ginger is actually straight. Yes. So she's an ally, though. Okay, what about Courtney? Courtney. Courtney is a LGBT. lesbian. Yep, LGBT. I knew it. Okay. Anyone else you want me to add so to this? Crazy. To this damn Let me list? think of all the all the Nicktoons ever, and I feel like there's somebody you're missing. Let me see. Yeah, like okay, like tough puppies here. But do you give a shit? No, I don't care about tough puppy. I hate okay. tough puppy actually. Um, let me uh, think. Ah, uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, Bunsen is a beast. 
No, not There's even no a little. Have... Alright, what do you think Betsy Hig Higginbottom is? Ally. Yes, absolutely. She she got a badge in, in <laughs> pride. <laughs> and, she's, and she's not fake at, about it. She's real. She's real as shit about it. She's a real one. Absolutely. Okay, but... anyone else you feel like actually really passionate about? Harvey Beaks. I mean it. Put the boy on there. Banana. B? Look at her! That's crazy. That bunny, though, very actually gay, though. Like, that was confirmed. That was crazy. Crazy. You need to be here. I refuse to give hey. Cat Scratch anything, because I don't want to... Because we talk about Cat Scratch, we're going to talk about fucking Gordon's, like, crush on an eight-year-old, and I don't want to talk about that. Like, I feel like we didn't put any in, in actually transphobic homophobic in this one, but there was, like, tons in the Cartoon Network one that we did. Yeah. The All-Stars. There was, there was a lot of ones for the plot, though. We have a lot of allies in this one, I think. They're, they're good people. Maybe we should bump someone down. No. You are so full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're just so full of shit. You don't get it. Put him back. Put Quailman back, an ally. Thank you. Yeah, all, all two Doug Funny fans, I'm sorry. I'm not a Doug Funny fan, I'm a Quailman. You only like it when he's Quailman. <laughs> I only like it I, when For he's the quail. life of me, I don't understand what you guys have against Doug. Just look he's at the him. most normal who gives a shit guy. Exactly, he's not trying. Oh my god. I'd rather he be who gives a shit over like him being toxic and evil like fucking Lincoln Loud and Timmy Turner. <laughs> you were the one you wanted Lincoln Loud an ally and now you're calling him toxic? Because he has a sister who is gay. I just plenty of people with gay sisters who aren't allies. I fucking bump him down, because I'm not having him above fucking drug honey. Oh my god. Because you acting like you, it's, it's, it's exclusive. No! Put him fucking down there. I don't care. It's the triforce of horrible little white children. <laughs> I heard Don make like a noise it didn't pick up at all. I just, I'm not a fan of this. This isn't a good one. There are a lot of babies in this one, I gotta be honest with you. There are only three babies! You're underestimating how old some of these kids are. Like, Jimmy, he's probably four. Four?! <laughs> you don't think he's like eight grades? He's not a fucking preschooler! That would make him like Angelica's age! He's not Angelica's age! <laughs> Are you sure? I think the big head gives him height. Oh my god. <laughs> Are we done? Yeah, yeah, I think we're done. Now nah, this is a good list. <laughs> well, I'm happy you guys- Very are simple. I'm happy you guys had your third fucking robot and monster I character on here. I think like five more you could have added. Nope. Yeah. Video over. Bye!